Hey community, this is Tenacia, and I want to take a minute to teach you how to create a Reason Rex file using the Recycle uh, application. You'll notice here in my browser window, I've got a bunch of samples from the um, West African Sample Library that you can find at loopcommunity.com under the Sample section, and these are great tools for creating your own uh, loop tracks or as elements in your loop tracks. I'm going to grab this Jolie Jimbe 1 file and I'm going to drag it down to the Recycle app and it'll open up in a player. But first it's going to ask me, do you want to move the left locator to the first slice point? In this particular case, I do. And here you see the edit window for the Recycle player. But before we get started, we need to give Recycle some basic information. Specifically, how many bars are in the loop or are in the sample that we're editing? In this particular case, I happen to know that it's four. So I'm going to put that in, and you'll see that Rec Recycle Smart, and it'll automatically see that this was created. This this actual WAV file here is 120 beats per minute, which is true. If I were to cut this down to two, it would also cut down the beats per minute here. And when we export it as a Rex file, it wouldn't accurately represent. Uh, the sound that it, the um, the tempo that it was um, originally recorded. So let's change that back to four, and we're at 120 beats per minute. Now you'll notice that all these um, control parameters are grayed out, and the reason is we need to select this preview button right here, and that allows us to start editing this track. Let's just take a second to see what it sounds like. This is the sound of the um, sample we're editing. Now, there are a couple things we can do to start dropping slice points here. Uh, one thing we can do is select a pencil tool and we can manually go into each transient and drop a slice point like this, and that can get quite tedious at times. So, we're not going to do that, do it that way. It's very handy if you want to add an additional slice point because uh, um, Recycle missed it. Another thing you could do is you could start bumping up the sensitivity button. You'll see that all the slice points start dropping in at the attacks, uh, at the attack of each transient. And this is a very, very um, good tool to use. I use this probably 30 or 40 percent of the time, but most often I'm editing percussive tracks, and I find that using uh, the next thing that I'm going to show you, it's a little bit uh, easier. Um, and faster. So I'm going to go up here to processes and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop a slice at every single sixteenth. If you've got a good timed sample then this is going to go in and really uh, lock in each slice point right at each sixteenth. So let's go ahead and play this. As I'm playing this you might start to hear a little bit of choppiness in between each one of those slice points. And there are a few things that we can do to uh, improve upon those. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the stretch setting and we're going to bring it all the way up to 100. And what that does is changes the way Recycle plays the sample between each slice point and it kind of literally stretches out the play until it hits the next slice point at which time it then plays the next sample slice. The other thing I do, I found that tweaking these attack and decays a little bit um, can help smooth out each one of those slice points as well. And uh, generally, you don't want to be too aggressive with this, uh, but I would encourage you to play with it a little bit. Uh, you might find that you could create some interesting effects. Um, additionally, these EQ and these transients, um, these uh, different settings down here, one's a compressor, one's an EQ, are also used to kind of um, reshape or resculpt your. Um, your sample, but in this particular case, I really just want to make it so that the sample, the the wave file that I have, is playback. I can play it back as it sounded in the Rex player. So I'm not going to edit any of this stuff. But um, one of the things that happens is when you drop sixteenths, it may drop a sixteenth where you don't want it. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select this um, mute tool. And it allows me to quickly delete um, my slice points. And what you see is a nice attack right here. And then there's the sustain of the hit right up until the next hit on my percussion track. And I don't want a slice point here because what that does is it breaks up that nice sustain and creates more of that choppiness. So what I'm going to do is quickly go through 
using my navigation bar here and uh, delete all of the slice points that are in the middle of the decay of each one of the strikes. And what this will do is really clean it up. And you might be asking, like, why is he doing it that way rather than just using the sensitivity slider? Um, well, uh, that's a good question. I have found that using the sensitivity slider, um, it's easy to miss one hit. Um, and what this does is it gives you a very quick reference um, on where every single 16th in your particular file is. I've also found that um, dropping manually uh, each uh, slice point can um, not be as accurate once you get it into the Rex player in terms of timing. And so I've also found that it's very quick to go through and delete visually all of the slice points that you don't need, just like I just did. So I'm I'm going back through here to make sure that everything is good to go, and I believe it is. So I'm going to push play, and now we can change our tempo. And you hear that there are no artifacts. We've got a good, solid slice points everywhere in this particular track, and we are done. I'm going to set my tempo back to 120, the original tempo of that file, and then I simply do file. Save as Rex to file format. And there you have it. Save it to whatever location you prefer, and you're done. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you, and we'll see you next time.